Welcome to day 8 of our 10 day fat loss program. We are getting closer to the end of our program. Same as before, we've organized a sequence of 8 exercises, categorized into 3 rounds. Your objective is to complete 3 sets for each exercise before proceeding to the subsequent round. Let's kill it. Round 1. Barbell walking lunges or in place lunges. Walking lunges. 1. Set up. Begin by placing a barbell with an appropriate weight across your upper back, resting it on your trapezius muscles. Stand with your feet together. 2. Position. Keep your back straight, chest up, and core engaged. Look straight ahead. 3. Starting position. This is your starting position, with the barbell on your back and your feet together. 4. Lunge forward. Exhale as you take a large step forward with one leg. Lower your body by bending both knees until your front thigh is parallel to the ground, and your back knee hovers just above the floor. 5. Push back, inhale as you push off your front foot and step your rear foot forward to meet the front foot. Repeat the lunge with the opposite leg. 6. Repeat, continue alternating lunges with each leg, moving forward with each step. Maintain a controlled and fluid motion. 7. Breathing, exhale as you lunge forward, and inhale as you push back to the starting position. In place lunges. 1. Set up, begin by standing with your feet hip width apart. 2. Position, keep your back straight, chest up, and core engaged. Look straight ahead. 3. Starting position, this is your starting position, with your feet hip width apart. 4. Lunge forward. Exhale as you take a step forward with one leg, lowering your body by bending both knees until your front thigh is parallel to the ground, and your back knee hovers just above the floor. 5. Push back, inhale as you push off your front foot and step it back to the starting position. Repeat the lunge with the opposite leg. 6. Repeat, continue alternating lunges with each leg while staying in the same spot. Maintain a controlled and fluid motion. 7. Breathing, exhale as you lunge forward, and inhale as you push back to the starting position. Sets and repetitions, aim for 3 sets of 12 to 16 lunges, 6 to 8 per leg, for an effective lower body exercise. Cable crossover reverse flies. 1. Set up, begin by setting the cable machine with the pulleys at the highest position. Attach a single handle attachment to each pulley. Adjust the weight stack to your desired resistance. Stand in the middle of the machine, facing away from the pulleys, and hold one handle in each hand. 2. Position, stand with your feet shoulder width apart, knees slightly bent, and hinge forward at your hips. Keep your back straight, chest up, and core engaged. 3. Starting position, this is your starting position, with your arms extended in front of you, holding the cable handles with your palms facing down, and your hands crossed over each other. 4. Fly, exhale as you squeeze your shoulder blades together and pull the cable handles outward and backward, away from each other, while keeping your palms facing down. Your arms should move in a wide arc, forming a T-shape when fully extended to the sides. 5. Squeeze, at the end of the movement, Pause for a moment and focus on squeezing your rear deltoids, that's back shoulder, and upper back muscles. 6. Return to starting. Inhale as you reverse the motion by bringing the cable handles back to the starting position in a controlled manner, crossing your hands over each other again. 7. Breathing. Exhale during the fly phase, and inhale as you return to the starting position. 8. Sets and repetitions. Aim for 3 sets of 10 to 12 repetitions to effectively target your rear deltoids and upper back. Flat Bench Dumbbell Press 1. Set up. Begin by selecting a pair of dumbbells that match your strength level. Sit on a flat bench with your feet flat on the floor. Hold the dumbbells at shoulder height, palms facing forward, and elbows bent. 2. Position. Lie back on the bench, keeping the dumbbells at shoulder height with your palms facing forward. Position the dumbbells slightly wider than shoulder width apart. 
3. Starting position. This is your starting position, with your back flat against the bench, dumbbells held at shoulder height, and your feet firmly planted on the floor. 4. Press up, exhale as you push the dumbbells upward, extending your arms fully without locking your elbows. Keep your wrists firm and stable. 5. Squeeze, at the top of the movement, pause for a moment and focus on squeezing your chest muscles. 6. Lower down, inhale as you slowly lower the dumbbells back down to the starting position, with your elbows bent at about 90 degrees. 7. Breathing, exhale during the pressing phase, and inhale as you lower the dumbbells. 8. Sets and repetitions, aim for 3 sets of 8 to 12 repetitions to effectively target your chest muscles. Round 2. Standing Dumbbell Shrugs. 1. Set up, begin by selecting a pair of dumbbells that match your strength level. Stand up straight with your feet shoulder width apart, holding a dumbbell in each hand by your sides, with your palms facing your body. 2. Position, keep your back straight, chest up, and core engaged throughout the exercise. 3. Starting position, this is your starting position, with a dumbbell in each hand, arms fully extended by your sides, and your palms facing your body. 4. Shrug, exhale as you lift both shoulders as high as possible, bringing your shoulders toward your ears. Focus on using your trapezius muscles to perform the shrug. 5. Squeeze, at the top of the movement, pause for a moment and focus on squeezing your trapezius muscles. 6. Lower down, Inhale as you lower your shoulders back to the starting position in a controlled manner. 7. Breathing, exhale during the shrug, and inhale as you lower your shoulders. 8. Sets and repetitions, aim for 3 sets of 10 to 12 repetitions to effectively target your trapezius muscles. Cable Hip Abduction 1. Set up, begin by attaching an ankle strap to the low pulley on a cable machine. Adjust the weight stack to your desired resistance. Put on the ankle strap and attach it to your right ankle. Stand with your left side facing the machine, holding onto a support for balance. 2. Position, keep your standing leg slightly bent and your upper body upright. Engage your core muscles for stability. 3. Starting position, this is your starting position, with your right ankle attached to the cable and your right leg position slightly in front of your left leg. 4. Abduction, exhale as you lift your right leg sideways away from your body while keeping it straight. Focus on using your hip muscles to perform the abduction. 5. Squeeze, at the top of the movement, pause for a moment and focus on squeezing your hip muscles. 6. Return down. Inhale as you slowly lower your right leg back to the starting position with controlled movement. 7. Switch legs, disconnect the ankle strap from your right ankle and attach it to your left ankle. Repeat the abduction with your left leg. 8. Breathing, exhale during the abduction phase, and inhale as you return your leg to the starting position. 9. Sets and repetitions, aim for 3 sets of 12 to 15 repetitions per leg to effectively target your hip muscles. High Plank Toe Touch 1. Set up, begin by getting into a high plank position with your hands shoulder width apart, wrists aligned under your shoulders, and your toes on the floor. Maintain a straight line from your head to your heels. 2. Position, keep your core engaged and your body in a stable plank position throughout the exercise. 3. Starting position, this is your starting position, in a high plank with your body straight and parallel to the ground. 4. Toe touch, exhale as you lift your right hand off the ground and reach across your body to touch your left toes. Keep your core engaged to maintain stability. 5. Return to plank. Inhale as you lower your right hand back to the starting high plank position. 6. Switch sides. Exhale again, this time lifting your left hand off the ground and reaching across your body to touch your right toes. 7. Return to plank. Inhale as you lower your left hand back to the starting high plank position. 8. Breathing. Exhale as you touch your toes, 
and inhale as you return to the high plank position. 9. Sets and repetitions. Aim for 3 sets of 10 to 12 toe touches, 5 to 6 per side, to effectively engage your core and oblique muscles. Round 3. Bar Skull Crushers. 1. Set up. Begin by lying on a flat bench with your feet flat on the floor. Hold an easy curl bar or a straight barbell with an overhand grip, hands slightly closer than shoulder width apart. 2. Position. Extend your arms fully, holding the bar above your chest with your elbows pointing upward. Keep your back, head, and shoulders firmly planted on the bench. 3. Starting position. This is your starting position, with the barbell held above your chest, arms fully extended. 4. Lower the bar, inhale as you bend your elbows and slowly lower the bar toward your forehead, keeping your upper arms perpendicular to the floor. Your forearms should move in a controlled arc. 5. Squeeze and extend, exhale as you extend your elbows and push the bar back up to the starting position, fully extending your arms without locking your elbows. 6. Squeeze, at the top of the movement, pause for a moment and focus on squeezing your tricep muscles. 7. Repeat, continue this controlled motion for the desired number of repetitions. 8. Breathing, inhale during the lowering phase, and exhale during the extension phase. 9. Sets and repetitions, aim for 3 sets of 8 to 15 repetitions to effectively target your triceps. Single Arm Cable Curls 1. Set up, begin by attaching a single handle attachment to a low pulley on a cable machine. Adjust the weight stack to your desired resistance. Stand facing the machine, about arm's length away, and hold the handle with an underhand grip in one hand. 2. Position, stand with your feet shoulder width apart and your knees slightly bent. Keep your back straight, chest up, and core engaged for stability. 3. Starting position. This is your starting position, with the handle in one hand, your arm fully extended, and your palm facing upward. 4. Curl. Exhale as you bend your elbow and curl your hand toward your shoulder, keeping your upper arm stationary. Focus on using your bicep to perform the curl. 5. Squeeze, at the top of the movement, pause for a moment and focus on squeezing your bicep. 6. Lower down, inhale as you slowly lower your hand back to the starting position in a controlled manner, fully extending your arm. 7. Breathing, exhale during the curling phase, and inhale as you lower your hand. 8. Repeat, perform the desired number of repetitions with one arm before switching to the other arm. 9. Sets and repetitions. Aim for 3 sets of 10 to 15 repetitions per arm to effectively target your biceps. Excellent work! Once you've completed your workout, make sure to stretch. Please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and give us a thumbs up. Staying dedicated to this 10-day workout program is crucial. Aim for 2 to 3 sessions every week. We're here to support you as you work towards burning fat, building strength, and reaching your fitness goals. Keep watching, as this series will be your ultimate guide to success.